Well, you know, you may have seen them on the street somewhere on the Health Watch tonight. New research out about those popular electric scooters and increasing injuries. Let's get more on the study now with health reporter Stephanie Stahl. That's right. The yeah. study came out today. You know, they require some balance and coordination, and on busy streets, well, accidents can happen. This new research says electric scooters are sending many people to the emergency room with some serious injuries. Electric scooters are a quick, zippy way to get around, and they're rolling out in cities across the country. If it doesn't require a car and gasoline, I'm all for it. it as long as we can keep it safe, it's all good. While electric scooters might be popular, new research shows one in three people involved in e-scooter accidents are injured badly enough to require emergency room treatment range of different fractures, the wrist and forearm as well as the ankles. There were a lot of patients who came in with head injuries. Fortunately, for the most part, a majority of them suffered minor concussions, but five patients did have bleeding inside the brain. The study looked at emergency room data on nearly 250 e-scooter riders and pedestrian-involved collisions. One scooter company called the report limited and said the number of injuries reported amounts to a small fraction of e-scooter rides. In our study, we found that you know, only 4% of uh, patients were actually documented to be wearing a, a helmet during the time of their injury. While electric scooters are easy, fun, convenient, and incredibly useful, they have to be taken seriously. Shana Specht says she feels e-scooters are safe as long as you're careful. You have to be cautious of other people just like riding a bike or walking. While there's interest, it's unclear if e-scooters will be allowed to legally come to Philly. PennDOT says they're not street legal. Now, scooter company Bird says it is committed to working with cities to safely and responsibly embrace e-scooters. Another company, Lime, says they have led several safety initiatives, including distributing tens of thousands of free helmets to scooter riders. Mm. I'd be worried about some balance. I'd be like, I know. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's fun, though, if you can get your balance going. Your balance. But I don't know on a busy street with people and <laughs> cars and all that. Exactly. Like, Only mm -hmm. in a park where you're by yourself. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Dad. Appreciate it.